What's going on, you guys? How you guys doing? Old dog Anton period of chill here. Um, just chilling. So this, you guys, this is uh inside the lyrics, um, volume nineteen. This is for nobody but you, volume nineteen. Nobody but you. The lyric video has been out. Hopefully, you guys have had a chance to see it. Um, old dog Anton period of chill. One name, three personalities. Old dog Anton period of chill. Before I even get into the uh, the nobody but you, so this is inside the lyrics. This is like you guys know inside the lyrics when we go. Like I kind of break down the lyrics that I wrote and things like that, um, and like how I got the lyrics and like you know what I was thinking about when I came up with them and things like that. So this is inside the lyrics volume. I think I said nineteen, right? That's a like nineteen volume nineteen. Um, nobody but you. That's what this is. Uh, before I even get to that though, so I had I had this <laughs> I had this uh, this this uh, female DM me. I had like a couple females DM me about this, but this one I just got like like a few minutes ago, and she was like. She was like, I was watching your your stuff, your videos, and my boyfriend got mad, and he was like, why do you, and it wasn't like my music, I think it was my, no, the other girl was watching my music videos, but this one was watching my, um, she was watching one of my music videos, and then she was watching like my videos, like my diversity outspoken videos, and my in my mind videos, where I kind of speak and stuff like that about, you know, politics, social issues, relationships, and things like that, and, um, and she was saying that her boyfriend was like, why are you watching that nigga? He's always on the female side and this, this, and that. And he's just a regular nigga. He ain't special. Da, 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 da. He, he's like any old nigga. He's like any regular nigga. He's like me. I said, send, I said, send me a picture of your boyfriend. I'm not going to put the picture up. I don't want to embarrass him like that. She sent me a picture of her boyfriend. <laughs> he does look like a regular nigga. Like a regular guy. Yeah. So if you look at me, come on, all the haters, you look at me, hands, super clean, nails, see, long fingernails, not a speck of dirt underneath any fingernail, not a speck of dirt. Super clean lips, <laughs> super clean hair laid. Clean, taken care of. Wash, condition, blow dry. I brush it and just braid it up myself. Clean and laid lips, clean and laid teeth. Never had braces in my life. These are not veneers. Real teeth from birth, from my mama. <laughs> Super clean. So when she sent me a picture, look at these nails, look at this hair, look at these, look at these teeth. But so she said when she sent me a picture, never had them whitened. Never had them whitened. This is from birth. Never had them whiten. So when she sent me a picture of her boyfriend, yeah, he does look like a regular nigga. Yeah, regular guys. Yeah. Buddy, you might want to um go clean yourself up. Now I understand why she uh why she watches me. <laughs> because if I had to look at you and the way that you look, mm -mm. <laughs> I would want to watch somebody much more clean, much more pristine, much more put together um, than to watch you. You're, you're, you're not very attractive at all. So not to say I'm the, much, I'm the most gorgeous man in the world or even attractive to um, most people. But uh, I at least if I'm ugly, I at least take care of this ugliness to the best extent possible. All right. At least I take care of this ugliness <laughs> to the best extent possible. So, uh, guys, you guys need to definitely do that. All right. So, Inside the Lyrics, Volume 19, Nobody But You. Hopefully, you guys have heard the um, have heard the, the song. The lyric video has been out. I'll put the lyric video at the end down here. Um, I'll do that again later. I'll put it down here um, at the end of this video so you guys can uh, go ahead and watch it if you haven't. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the lyrics. We'll kind of get through it. I'm going to play a lot of the song so we can hear the lyrics. So nobody but you. So it's you guys know how I am. Oh, the Anton Pearl Chill. I'm all about love songs and things like that. So it's a love song. It's a rap song, like a rap hip hop type of um, vibe. But it's a love song, you guys. Nobody but you. Um, it's like, I don't want anybody but you. I'm telling the female, I don't want anybody but you. And like I always say, my songs are for everybody to enjoy. I do I do um, write them from a point of a guy to a girl or a girl to a guy. Um, but my my songs are for everybody to enjoy. It doesn't matter um, if you're in a, a, you know, a guy to a girl, girl to a guy, girl to a girl, guy to a guy, transgender to a girl, transgender to a guy, transgender to a transgender bisexuality and things like that. My, my my music and my songs are for everybody to enjoy. No discrimination here. Um, if you guys want to discriminate against people because of their sexuality, skin color, race, um, culture, religion, get the hell off my channel. This is not the place for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. So nobody but you. Um, I'll play some of it. I'll kind of explain some lyrics. Like I might be backing up a little bit and things like that. All right. So nobody but you. So let's start it off. Oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you guys hear it. You'll hear it come on and say, I don't want nobody but you. So when I wrote this song, so it starts off, the first thing I say um, is uh, the first time we chill, you spent the night that first night, I'm trying to remember the lyrics, I write so many songs, <laughs> it says the first time we chill, you spent the night that first night. So this is all about <clears throat> me spending our, spending the first night with a female, right? So I met this female, this is actually like a true story from a while ago. So I met this female, um, beautiful female. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful model. Um, met this female. She came over to one of my condos to see me. And um, so I'm saying the first time we chilled, you spent the night that first night. So she just came over to like kind of like chill and talk. You know what I mean? But she ended up spending the night that first night. All right. So I'm saying the first time we chilled, you spent the night that first night. And now we just chill. You met the chill that first night. So old dog, anti pure the chill. The chill is the lover, the romantic one of my three personalities. So the first time we the first time we chill, you spent the night that first night. And now we just chill. You met the chill that first night. So I'm saying, look, after we chilled that first night, now we're in such a good space because our first night went so good that now we just chill with each other because you met the chill that first night. Um, the first time we kiss. That was still that first night. The first time she came over and chilled, we did kiss. Um, first time we kissed, that was still that first night. And now you dismiss all them pussy niggas on that night. All right. So she came over, we chilled, we kissed that first night. Everything was great that first night. Um, and now she, she, well, after we did what we did like that first night, um, she was saying that she wanted to get rid of like all the guys. Like she in front of me, she took out her phone and started to delete all the numbers of the guys that she was talking to and um unfollow all the guys that she was following on, on on um on her social media. I didn't ask her to. She just was like, Man, I've never met a guy like you. So she just we were laying in bed and she just did it on her own. So um so that's where that comes from. Um the first time we kissed that was that first night, and, and then and then you dismissed. All them puss niggas on that night, and so um that where that that's where that comes from. <clears throat> um, then you dismiss all the puss niggas on that night. Your boyfriend is pissed because so while we're laying in bed together, and she was on her phone, her boyfriend was one of the individuals that um that she kind of um she texted him and was and told him like she wanted to have space, 
And they actually went through a big texting argument. He called her like 50 times that night. <laughs> I was like, oh, Lord, these guys are wild. So they went through a little texting argument um, for about three or four hours while I was just, I didn't give, like, I didn't care. I was just laying in bed. Like, I was eating food. I was I was eating my fruit. I was chilling, laying in bed. You know what I'm saying? I was ordering food. I was like, all right, I'll be back, man. You, you, you keep texting him. Y'all keep having y'all conversation. I'll be back. So... Um, so, so yeah, yeah. Then you dismiss on the pussy niggas on that night. Your boyfriend is pissed. That pussy nigga say he want to fight. Put up his fist. Shoot niggas down like a night. Call up old dog and that shit gets too real. Niggas so crip all he told is blue still. So, um... <clears throat> Yeah, so her boyfriend is pissed. Her boyfriend was like, I know something's wrong. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight that nigga, whoever you with right now. Da, 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 da. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> her boyfriend is pissed. That pussy nigga say you want to fight. Put up his fist. We shoot niggas down like a night. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, nigga, you want to come around here, man. You might get end up getting killed. So don't, don't be fucking around. You know what I'm saying? You want to fight, whatever. But we might end up killing your ass. But anyway... Um, you know what I mean? That's how that goes. So that's the first, that's the first verse. You know what I mean? <laughs> we shoot niggas down. Boyfriend want to fight. You shoot niggas down like, hey, night call up old dog. So old dog, you guys know old dog, anti period to chill. Old dog is the gangster, the thug, right? So call up old dog and that shit gets too real. Niggas so crip, all he told is blue steel. So blue steel is a type of gun, right? And so, um, shout out to all my crips out there. Y'all already know what it is. All right. So that's how it starts. So that's the first verse. Then it jumps into the chorus. Um, no matter how much, you know, gangster stuff, old dog talks and stuff like that, in the chorus, we always bounce back to um, some love song. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, call up old dog and that shit gets too real. Nigga so crip, all he tote is blue still. Crip, blue. Nigga so crip, all he tote is blue still. The type of gun is a blue steel gun, but crip, blue. So, wordplay. <clears throat> Call up old dog and that shit gets too real. Nigga so crip, all he told is blue still. Then it jumps into the chorus, you know, where I don't want nobody but you. But don't you know, girl, ain't nobody but you. So it goes through all that. And so that's the first verse. Let's hit the first verse again. All right, here we go. We're almost done. <laughs> Nobody but you inside the lyrics volume. What did I say? 19? Volume 19. Inside the lyrics volume 19. Alright, we back that up real quick, man. All right, so <clears throat> the chorus goes, I need to get some water. Throat kind of dry. So the chorus goes, I don't want nobody but you. Don't you know, girl, that it ain't nobody but you. Alright, so that's how this is like. After this first night, we chill. We met, I met you, we chilled the first night you came over. Everything went good, everything went perfect. So now I realize that I don't want nobody but you. So I don't want nobody but you. Don't you know, girl, it ain't nobody but you, right? I don't want nobody else but you. Don't you know that? You don't know that? You you can't tell by how, in, by, by how into you that I am. You can't tell that. You can't tell by the way I look at you. You can't tell by the way that I'm showing my affection towards you. You can't tell that I don't want nobody but you. Don't you know that? Don't you know that? Don't you know, girl, right? It ain't nobody but you. I don't, I'm not even looking at nobody else. All right. So that's what the song's about. And so that's how the chorus goes. I don't want nobody but you. Don't you know, girl? It ain't nobody but you. And it says it again. I don't want nobody but you. Don't you know, girl? Then it says it ain't nobody but you now. That's what it says at the end of the second part of the chorus. It ain't nobody but you now. Because it's like, man, I had like, you know, I had other people, but you blown my mind so much 
that now it's really nobody but you. I'm going to get rid of everybody else because you mean that much to me. So that's kind of what, what the chorus is talking about. All right. So, boom, let's go back to it. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Let me get some water. Don't dry. <laughs> but you, don't you know, girl, ain't nobody but you. <laughs> It's only two verses, so we're almost done. So this is the second verse. Let's just do it real quick and we'll break it down. verse so it goes upgrade my market value upgrade your status is it upgrade my market value upgrade your market value or upgrade our market value it's about upgrading market value <laughs> i think it says upgrade my market value upgrade your status upgrade your page let them girls know you have it i think it's upgrade my market value upgrade your status or it might be upgrade your market value upgrade your status either one so what that means, you guys, is um, and I'm going to try to space this as quickly as possible. So upgrade my market value, upgrade your status, or upgrade your market value, upgrade your status. That basically means, so market value in relationship market value. You guys understand in economics, you guys, you things have a market value. So for example, a, Roll, a Rolls Royce, that particular car has a market value. It's a high market value. It's very expensive. Okay. Whereas a Toyota Corolla, which there's nothing wrong with a Toyota Corolla, but a, a Toyota Corolla does not have the same market value as a Rolls Royce. All right. So a Toyota Corolla's market value is down here, but a Rolls Royce's market value is up here. So it says upgrade my market value, upgrade your status or upgrade your market value, upgrade your status. So what that means is. Since we've gone, since we're coming together after this first night, we're gonna upgrade each other's market value. So it's like, you know, people are gonna look at you different. It's kind of like if, let's say, if there's a regular guy, like he's a regular guy, like you know, he whatever, he has a regular job, you know, maybe he's a teacher, or he does, he's a trash collector, or he has a regular job, right? Makes like you know, thirty thousand dollars a year. All right, people are gonna look at him a certain way. But then imagine this. Imagine that guy, all of a sudden, he shows up to, to a party and he has Beyonce on his arm. Like Beyonce, Beyonce, or Rihanna, or somebody famous, some famous celebrity. People and females are going are gonna to look at him and be like, well, damn, what the hell Beyonce saw in him that I didn't see in him? Damn, he must be, he must got something good boy, for Beyonce to pick him. Beyonce is upgrading his market value. Beyonce is taking him from being looked at as being not important 
to being very important. So just with Beyonce getting with this regular guy that nobody even looks at, all of a sudden Beyonce has upgraded his market value and now he's going to be important just because Beyonce got with him. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm talking about. I'm saying, look, before me and you spent this first night together, we were just regular people. Nobody even cared about us. But we're so special together, we're going to upgrade each other. We're going to bring each other up. We're going to upgrade each other's market value. Right? And so that's how that's what that means. Upgrade my market value or upgrade your market value. Upgrade your status. So the upgrade your status also means upgrading your status. Like your status was down here, now it's up here. But it's a double meaning. It also means, though, go on social media and upgrade your status. Like if your status on social media said single, go on social media and upgrade your status to taken. You know what I mean? Or in a relationship or whatever it is. Right? So it's like upgrade your status in two ways. And like upgrade your status, like upgrade your market value, like bring your status up to being important. We're going to upgrade each other's status, market value and status. But it also means go on your social media and upgrade your status to saying that you're in a relationship because now we're going to be together. So it's a double meaning with that. Upgrade, upgrade your market value, upgrade your status. Then it says also upgrade your page. Let them girls know you have it. So it's like upgrade your social media page. Let them other girls know that you have me. So tell them other girls. Let them other girls know to stop talking to me. Stop trying to talk to me because I'm your man now. That's basically what that means. All right. Upgrade your status. Upgrade your page, your social media page. Let them girls know you have it. Let all the other girls know that I'm taken. Right. You can let them know like, you know, old dog is your man for real. <laughs> Anton Pirro is your man. The chill is your man. Right. Um, upgrade your page. Let, let them girls know you have it. All throughout my life, them circles were true. Everything was orange at the bottom right was blue. So what that means, all throughout my life, them circles were true. Everything was orange at the bottom right was blue. There's this painting that I had since I was young. And uh, I hung it up in one of my condos. And when I was writing this song, I was looking at the painting. <laughs> so when I was writing this song, I was looking at the painting. And so it's a, it's a painting that has um, a bunch of circles on it. And all the circles are orange except for the circle at the bottom right. The circle at the bottom right is a light blue. Um, it's a light blue circle. So all the circles in the painting are orange. And at the bottom right, it was a light blue circle on the painting or whatever. I say bottom right because, you know, looking at this on YouTube or whatever, or on Instagram, this should be down to the right. This should be your right. But in real, in real life, this is my right right here. But I know everything's kind of reversed, I think, when you watch things on YouTube and Instagram. But um, so... All throughout my life from circles, that's that painting circle I was I was looking at when I was writing this song. All through my life from circles were true. Everything was orange. All the circles were orange. At the bottom right was blue. There's one circle at the bottom right of that painting. That's a blue. It's a light blue. It's a light blue circle. Then, it's, then I say, at the bottom right was blue. Tell me the truth. How you feel inside. It's just me and you. I'm sober. You're getting high. Because that one night she came over and we spent that night together. Um... I say, tell me the truth, how you feel inside, because we had a great conversation that night. It was like one of those type, you guys know those type of nights where somebody comes over and you guys just hit it off and you guys like stay up all night talking. We were, we were up all night just looking at the ocean. Um, it was nighttime, but we, you know, we could hear the, the rocks crashing on, I mean, the, the waves crashing on the, on the, um, the ocean rocks, um, on the reef and stuff like that. Um, so the waves were crashing up into the rocks and things like that. So it was a really beautiful night. Um, I had all my, I had all the sliding glass doors open. Um, so we were like up talking all night. The wind was blowing through the, the whole condo. It was a beautiful night. So um, the ocean breeze was blowing through the entire condo all night. It was a really beautiful night. So um, so we were up talking all night. And so, uh, and so that's what that verse means. Tell me the truth, how you feel inside. It's just me and you. I'm like, look, let's just talk. Like we're having a great conversation. We're up all night talking about everything, you know what I'm saying? Our lives, what we want, our past relationships, all type of stuff. We had a great conversation. So I was just saying, look, like, just be honest with me. Like we're having a great conversation. Like just, just don't lie to me. You know what I mean? So it's tell me the truth, how you feel inside. It's just me and you. It's just us here. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. I'm sober. You're getting high. <laughs> so she was smoking weed a little bit that night. She smoked uh, weed a couple times that night while we were chilling. She went on the balcony and smoked weed. If you guys have known me, um, for you guys that do know me, I've never 
use taken any drug or I've never tasted alcohol. And when I say tasted alcohol, tasted any type of alcohol in my entire life. Um, I've never had a sip, a drop of beer, wine, wine cooler, champagne, hard liquor. Alcohol has never touched my, my lips, okay? Alcohol has never touched my lips, and I've never smoked a cigarette, and I've never smoked a weed or, or done any type of drug. Um, I told you guys I'm a, I'm a big nerd, right? So I'm a nerd, I'm a dork, so that's kind of how I am. Um, so that's kind of what that means. Um, I'm sober, you're getting high. Um, she smoked a couple, a couple of, uh, I think she smoked a couple times that night, but me, uh, I didn't, and you guys know I never would. Um, but I'm weird, you guys. I don't have anything against it. If you guys want to go ahead and do it, you guys can go ahead and do it. I'm not trying to be judgmental. I just have never done it, and I never will. But like I said, I'm weird. You're talking to somebody, I've never tasted coffee in my entire life. I've never tasted coffee. So um, I don't have anything against coffee. I've just, I, I know why I have never tasted coffee, though, because when I was growing up, um, and we used to have to go to church. My mom used to make us go to church. And I remember the church lady used to be mean to me. And um, just because of like, you know, my outlook on on religion and stuff like that. And I remember that their breath used to always smell like coffee because they would drink coffee in the morning. And so I hated them because they were so mean to me. And therefore, I think that just like that mentally made me just hate the smell of their breath. because I hate everything about them. And so it just made me, I think, hate coffee, period. So I've never tasted coffee in my entire life. Um, so like I said, I'm weird. I don't I, I, like I haven't drunk soda since I was probably like 12 years old, maybe. It's the last time I just didn't I just didn't like the way soda kind of like um kind of felt in my stomach a little bit so i'm just weird you guys i'm really picky and weird so the only type of ice cream i really like is vanilla ice cream because i've never i've, I've never liked chocolate or fudge and caramel it's just chocolate fudge and caramel is too sweet to me like it's just too sweet i just can't stand it it makes me like Meh. like do like Meh. like do like that so i've never tasted like I, I i mean i've tasted it chocolate fudge and caramel but i from the first time i've tasted it i absolutely hated it um, so when I was young, it's just too sweet. Um, the last weird thing I know this is about this is supposed to be inside the lyrics volume 19. <laughs> Nobody but you. I'm talking about all type of stuff. It's all good, y'all. We having fun. We having fun, but we're almost done. But um, also like uh, like for example, like if I eat a cake, I don't eat the icing because the icing on a cake or a cupcake is too. I just don't like things that are too sweet. Like the icing on a cake or a cupcake is too sweet. Like if you like bake me like fresh a fresh cake or cupcake that like comes out of the oven like warm and hot just give it just give me like the vanilla cake or a lemon cake and like no icing i'm, I'm in heaven like like a, a regular just dry cake but like warm hot fresh out of the oven oh like you might make me fall in love with you <laughs> But no icing. Like, I don't like icing. It's, it's too sweet for me or whatever. So, but it's all good. Um, like I said, I'm a weird person. I have weird things. But but that's what that means. Um, it's just me and you. I'm sober. You're getting high. Um, I'm like, talk to me. It's just me and you. You know, she was smoking. I wasn't. I'm sober. You're getting high. The heights that we reach, no one can attain. So the heights that we reach, so like together we'll go higher and higher, you know, like a power couple type of thing will be a power couple. The heights that we reach, no one will attain, no one can attain. Now I say fuck all that jealousy. They were born that way because you guys know whenever you guys start to improve your life, whenever you guys start to get better in life, you're going to always run into people jealous. You're going to always run into people that are going to hate on you. So the heights that we reach, no one can attain. Fuck all that jealousy. They were born that way. We were born to get paid. So all the people that are haters, they were born to be haters. Fuck them. Don't even worry about them. Don't even think about them. They were born that way. But us, we were born to get paid. Successful, debonair, right? So it's like haters are going to be haters. We're not even going to focus on that. We're going to focus on this money we about to make together because we're going to be a power couple, right? We were born to get paid successful, debonair, debonair, sophisticated, right? Beautiful, right? So we were born to get paid, successful, debonair. Come over and lay my condos in the air, right? We were in my condo too. I'm like, I'm like, girl, come over here and lay down next to me. You know what I'm saying? We're, in, we're like in the air, listening to the ocean, right? Smelling the salt in the ocean air, feeling the ocean breeze. It's like, come over here and lay down beside me. You know what I'm saying? 
right? Because when I told you guys, like she was up texting her boyfriend, she was trying to leave him. She was up texting him. He was calling like 50 times. So I was like, man, come over here and lay down. Like, don't even stress. Because she started stressing out. Like, oh, man, this nigga's driving me crazy. He keeps stressing me. I was like, man, come over here and lay down, right? We're up in the air in my condo, listening to the waves crash against the rocks, smelling the salt in the ocean air, feeling the ocean breeze against our face, right? Against our faces. So it was like, it was like, come over and lay down. Let's just lay down and just experience this moment together, right? Experience this night together, okay? So that's what that meant. Come over and lay my condos in the air. No one else around. I can only speak my truth. It's like it's just us. There's no one else around. I'm going to only be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have to hide anything from anybody. Right? I never hide anything from anybody anyway. So I can only speak my truth. That's the way I was made. I was made to only speak the truth. That's what I do. I don't Because I don't care what people think about me. Right? So I can only speak my truth. I don't want nobody else. All I want is you. Okay, so that's the second verse. All right, that's how the second verse goes. Um, <clears throat> right, upgrade your market value, upgrade your status, upgrade your page, let them girls know you have it. All throughout my life, them circles were true. Everything was orange. At the bottom right was blue. Tell me the truth, how you feel inside. It's just me and you. I'm sober. You're getting high. The heights that we reach, no one can attain. Fuck all that jealousy. They were born that way. We were born to get paid, successful, debonair. Come over and lay my condos in the air. No one else around. I can only speak my truth. I don't want nobody else. All I want is you. And it gets back to the chorus. All right. So we'll listen to the second verse real quick, you guys. And, you know, we'll go from there. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs>
So that's the song, you guys. Nobody but you. You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys like it. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put the uh, the video down here real soon, but uh, I'll put it right here in a second. But hopefully you guys like it, you guys. Um, unfortunately, if you guys heard it at the very end, um, and you guys should watch the lyric video when I put it down here in, a, in like a, a couple, like a minute or so, because um, if you watch the lyric video, which I'll put down right here, right here, I'll put it right here. But if you guys watch the lyric video, um, it's, it's, it's the lyrics. You can see the lyrics. So it kind of like you can see it kind of actually makes sense. And you'll see at the end, um, you heard it really right there really, really quickly. It's like, uh, you know, I was saying there's nobody but you. You know, there's, there ain't no one but you. You know, there's no one but you. But then I say, you know, in life, you know, sometimes things are crazy, you guys. Life is crazy sometimes. And, you know, things don't work out the way that you thought they would. Um, but you still know deep inside that that person was the one that was meant for you, you know. And so... You know, things didn't work out and, um, you know, time goes by and things change and, and, you know, it just is what it is. But, you know, you know, certain people always have a special place in your heart and they'll always hold a special place within you. And so it's just kind of like what that is. Sometimes you, when you meet somebody, it's the wrong time, wrong place, um, you know, in life and stuff like that. And just, you know, but things change, you know, life changes as the years go by. So unfortunately, <clears throat> um, you know, it, it didn't come to, to be as far as like a long-term type of thing, but you know, um, I, I'll never forget about her and it's just kind of like what it is. Right. So I don't want nobody but you. And that's kind of how it goes. Um, hopefully you guys like the, uh, the lyric video. I'm going to put it right here, right now. We're about to get out of here. Okay. There it is right there. There you guys see it. You guys see it. There it is. It's right there. Old dog and time period to chill. One name, three personalities inside the lyrics, volume 19. You guys take care. Have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world. Nobody but you. You guys watch it. There it is. All right. Take care, you guys. Peace. Bye-bye.